Over. This has probably been the worst start to any fishing trip I've done for a while. Welcome back guys to another episode of Fish Tucker Man. But I just need some fresh calamari. I don't know. Just gonna give it a shot. It is windy, so it's gonna be another challenging day. And then after that we'll see uh we we'll get some uh, other fish species. Good day. So the first thing, because it's windy, throw the sea anchor out. Sea anchor overboard. That will sort itself out later on. I'm using my hand line to begin with, just that I want to put the my jig in the water as soon as possible. Find that it's a lost art in calamari fishing and very effective too. Just doing that, let my line out, it's uh, yeah, really good. Right, so with my squid jigs, I'll be putting this on the hand line, nice and heavy, and on the rod, I'll put in a almost. Yeah, I'll put this one on. Ooh, it's windy. Okay, cast that over there. We're only about six, seven meters of water here. It's this drift that's gonna affect our fishing. All right, so things have been pretty tough. So I'm using my phone, putting the avionics on it, you can't see, but also the sounder, and it's going a bit deeper, nine and a half, and it, on the avionics, satellite huge. <laughs> since weed beds. Yeah, weed. This is what we're looking for, ribbon weed. So, this has probably been the worst start to any fishing trip I've done for a while. It's pissing me off, nothing, no squid. The only reason I'm going for some calamari is I need it for bait. Got just a little bit of old stuff from a few other trips ago. It's not very fresh. I'm just going to go head, head out and see if I can get a, a few King George River sand whiting. That's fishing. Windy and wet. This is all I've got for bait. It's old stuff. It's good stuff, but hopefully I don't waste any squid. It's been defrosted a few times. So we're gonna really rationalize it out. Keep it under cover in case no birds come along and take the bait. That'd be disastrous. So just a few nips. Usually that's enough for a feed of whiting, but I'm going for King George. And there's a lot of bycatches like butterfish and other stuff, so I'll put that in the safe place. Utilize this old bait. Alrighty. Let's see how it goes. I can feel the wind's dropping down already. Look at that sink is way too big. Oh we got a fish. We got a fish, what do we got? What do we got? A blowfish. Now that is not what I wanted. And that's a fish I can't recycle as well. That's not good. Righto, so you saw that red mullet. I thought the camera was off. Ugh. So first fish of the day, and these fish are just so divine. They are really delicious. It's a good specimen. It's a small fish, but they are extremely nice. All right, got some here. So he's probably come off now. Yeah, could have been a flatty. The boot. 
I'm just starting to get my act together. I think I might just use some bigger baits. If I run out, I run out. What are you going to do? Yeah, I just hope uh, I catch something good. Here we go, boom, 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 straight away. That almost felt like a butterfish. It's big bait, so he should be able to... Yeah. Get a lot of new nibbles. Hang on. It's not that little. We just a butterfish. As I said, I'm going to keep them. Looks long. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that's beautiful. Woo! That beautiful donkey-sized bloody sand whiting. Yeah. We're in the money now. Yep. Did not expect that. But that is just beautiful. I think one rod's the way to go, though. Not two. So I got the fish there in the ice. Very nice bite, that one. There you go. You know, I was on. The other rod's got some action too. It's going to be another whiting. Yeah, beauty. Whoa. Yeah, beauty. And you really swallowed that. Surprised I didn't feel the bite. Let's make sure these hooks are well exposed so they, they can actually get struck. Well, that one there's going off. Do one at a time. Yeah, so I'm just wasting time on this one. What do you got here? Okay, bait's gone, yeah. So I'll just leave this aside. Concentrate on this. And the wind's starting to pick up. So, whiting's on the menu. You can always rely on whiting for a good feed. Absolutely delicious fish. And the, these sizes here, they're actually pretty good size. You get a good feed out of it. So I was just trying to put some sunscreen on. This one has got a bit of a boom boom to it. What have we got? Butterfish. Okay. Oh, flatty. Yeah, it's not really keepable size. Get me off the hook ASAP. Good. Ugh. Long time between drinks. <laughs> it's a real tough day. I don't even know if I'm going to make a movie out of this one. What have we got here? Butterfish. Alrighty. Just looks really good this water. It's the void of any fish. The void of any fish. One more ditch attempt before this wind picks up. Pretty glassy out here, so it's quite nice. It's just the fish aren't happening. Oh well, I'm going to capitalise and just go to that fine fish. They're yeah, amazing, they are. All right. right. Let's get into it. Again. Ooh. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, he's got some curry. Got some curry. Oh, okay, he's a uh, Western King Rass. All right, yeah, they um, they are good fighters. Big ones are not bad. To tuck up. 
I tell you what though, it is just a desert out here today. So I'm off again. I'm gonna go in the deeper water and try and see what I get a free the sand whitey. About near the channel markers. Paying attention. Got a fish on here. Trying to adjust the boat. What have we got here? We've got the whining. It's a small one. But um, the way I'm going, it's going to be uh, in the bag. So, then again, it's a bit small. This one here will we'll be catching most of them because I've got smaller hooks on this. Whiting love that. Easy to hook up. Not this time. I think he's on. Have a look. Okay, so it looks like they're the average size. If that's the case, so be it. It's a mayday call. Must be pretty far because we can't even hear it. Three, 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 three Received mayday. What is your position? Over. Yes, I decided to stop and throw a line down here. This has got some curry. Get my landing net this time. So he's... I haven't got very big hooks, so what is it going to be? Flathead? Oh, flathead and a butterfish. Man, they were taken off. Oh, really thought I had something good. Something good. No. Look. It's butterfish. It's big boy. Right, I so whatever I got on the end of this line, I'm gonna bring home and cook and eat. Oh, it's a flatty, is he size? Let's have a look. I don't think he is size. Okay, so he is size. He swallowed whoop, the hook. It's the only reason we're taking him back. And I'll just show you the final catch. I'll show you the cook, I'll show you the catch up, the catch up. I'll show you the catch pretty soon. This is the final count. One flathead, which is still pretty pretty green. That's probably the best fish of the day, a nice whiting. Caught a few of them, then it just died off. Anyway, enough blip up, let's get out of here, and uh, that's fishing. I don't mind leaving these glass conditions. By the time I get to port, the wind will pick up. And also the fish today just aren't on the tube. No worries. Gives me more motivation for next time. <laughs> to supplement the diet, I'm just going to dump some some muscles. Yeah, beauty. I won't wash them here because I'm going to get home. Lovely. So I'm just salting up these fishes. Righto. And I'm actually going to make something. It's not going to be a paella because being, being an Italian, I don't know what paella is. It's, anyway, it's going to be something similar with rice, fish, mussels, sauce. It is windy outside, so this will take a few more minutes than usual to just cook and I just want to brown them on either side so probably about three minutes on each get rid of the, the beds oh, yeah, beautiful just love that sound so that'll be right fish them over
Throw the garlic. Some onions. Now I've got some chilies out here drying up. There's no way I'm going to use these big ones. I'm just going to grab one of these guys out. I don't mind it a bit spicy. Oh, that's going to be spicy. That's going to be a li little bit spicy. It's only me having this, so I don't want to go too much, but it's so easy to keep going. <laughs> this will take about 15 minutes for that rice to cook up. Beautiful species of a capsicum. Look at that. Straight from the plant. So that is looking good. Terrific. Get rid of the seeds. Do a simple champagne. I'll put some water in later on, but just let that reduce off a bit. It's got a good flavour too, this uh, capskin. This is why the Spanish use a lot of it in their paellas. And they use it um, like dried and smoked and you know like the paprika type of stuff. I like it fresh. I'm actually trying to minimise all the spices I use in my cooking for now on. I just love fresh natural flavours. Don't want it to be too influenced by outside sources. At the end of the day we're all about the fish tucker. And uh, a bit of water. Ideally some stock would be great, but of course I've got this sauce just a bit for the time being. Just paint, just paint the town red. <laughs> oh yeah, that's looking terrific. The salt. Just be patient, just like fishing. <laughs> Especially like today's date. Fishing out there, mate, that was tough. Miserable catch. Everybody in regards to quantities, but the quality is pretty good. An epic cook, cook up. Look, still al dente, but it's definitely time to throw in these fine specimens. Get the uh, whiting, red mallet, more whiting, and some more whiting. And now the mussels. We've still got some juice in there. I'm going to leave that juice. Because that will definitely help out with the rice and just leave it like that. It's a lot of juice there, that's fine. And give it a bit of shake, put the lid back on. Mate, we are cooking a feast. So now it's time for the basil. Just gonna throw it on top. Bit of a shake. What do we have here? We have oh, absolute delicious goodness. Wine is all cooked, red mullet's cooked, the mussels are cooked. Alrighty, so I think it's time to turn this off. We'll get my act together. We'll come back in two seconds. You ready? Check that out. Now I have to hold this up so you guys can see what the hell I'm doing. Get the mussels infused with the rice. So I'll try and get some out there. And then the fish, which we'll get to so really soon. Oh, it's really oceany flavour. Oh, oh my god. Simple. And the thing about this kind of dish. You have to be patient and sit down and take your time eating the flesh away from the bone. Got a bone there which a bad multi multitasking. Oh. Oh. It, it's really soft and tender. It's fish here. As I said, I can, I can only do it with one hand. Mm. Red mullet as well. Quickly show you, that's really the star of the show, I reckon. Plus the mussels, that's like pretty. From a 
miserable catch to an epic cook up. I haven't had some of the rice yet. What I'm gonna do, put some of the rice into um, one of these mussel shells. And I love doing this for mussels and rice. You just pick it up, scoop it up. I better get out of here. Don't look petite. If you like the show and you're new, subscribe. If you don't, you're lost. See you next time. Take it easy. Dom Petite. This was epic. Fuck me. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker. The fish, tucker, man.